Shadow, Judgment, Air Signs. You're my last. For anybody who's new, Shadow Judgment is where we go throughout the week. This week, 26th to the 2nd of August. Yes, yes. This is where I look at what might be going on for you in the week. The nooks, the crannies, the hidden, the shadow self. Anything within the circle and with every corner, right? Air signs. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and Jupiter. So check your chart. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game after all. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? Right. All right. Gemini, you are up first. So we got for you. We got strength. Because she just ain't working out. Uh, could be dealing with a Leo. But something just is not working for you, or someone isn't putting enough effort here, right? Right. Um, you're cool probably being by yourself, honestly. Might be chilling on your money, might be getting them hose, or just a bird with an apple balanced on its head, one of the two. This fire sign who you could be dealing with is, um, you just got an attitude. Bitch mood with the Queen of Wands could be Sagittarius or Aries as well, but she's just ignoring this person over here who's just doing just dandy. Um, now, for whatever didn't work out, you're still kind of waiting to see the results of it, right? A lot of wands in in this, I should say. A lot of fire. Um, this person might look at you. This could be you. Um, Gemini, you might be settled, but you might not be looking at this person logically, or you might think this person is ungrounded. Either that, or they just aren't logical with you. Um, this fire sign might be trying to look for somewhere a little bit more calmer. And over here, someone's trying to recover from heartbreak since something didn't work out, right? You might have decided not to give your cup away to anybody. Might be out of stubbornness, but you never know. We got magician. And once again, you Gemini or Libra or Aquarius, right? So let's see here. Gemini. Someone might be holding out their strength, demonstrating that they are much more in control of their beast mode side, their shadow side than anything, but they are still turning their head away from possibly you in this scenario. Hey, kitten. Are you trying to get up here? Come here. You might be trying to, um, deal with this person, but when it comes to them, you don't know how to actually handle them, so you come off very illogically, and you've decided not to, like, give your cup away. Are you just going to be right here on the table, kitten? She's like right here. There's her tail. What are you doing? Come here. Now, let's see. Yeah, like it's like because they just are just like, you know what? I'm not dealing with you right now. I don't care how well off you are. I'm taking off somewhere else. You know? Oh, is it really? Kitten. See, this is why you're not allowed on the table when I do this because you're rude love you though i promise but yeah it's like when you try to deal with this person they just turn their back to you completely it's just like no it's cool i'm gonna go somewhere else to deal with my own shit like they're trying to manifest their own thing right here whereas you whenever you deal with them you might be set and okay you might have even offered to help them with something but it's like they didn't want it or they felt like you were overstepping something and you're not entirely notice. you're not taking the logic into it as much as you should because you're looking more at their attitude rather than their motives or reasons. And because you're looking at it in the wrong light, it's put you in a position where like you just don't feel like you're able to make logical decisions, so you'd rather not offer your cup. However, that might have also caused you to want to be like a meanie and do smear campaign -y shit. You know, looking for something to confirm your biases, um, not being very uh, astute with what it is, you know, looking for reasons to, like, be mad, I feel like, because things didn't work out, but you're still waiting to fix yourself. It's like, things didn't work the way you wanted them to, you're hoping that something will come out, so you'll be 
able to have your heart mended, but unfortunately, it's like whatever you're looking for um, isn't going to help you as much as it will hinder you, right? Hmm. What's up with the Page of Wands? Uh, not Wands, Swords. I'm trying to make a decision with all of this, right? Choose one world over the other. You need to listen to your intuition a little bit. And, yeah, you need to listen to you, what you know. And understand that maybe the separation's a good thing. Could be a Sagittarius once again. Uh, moral compass is kind of skewed. No one's being patient with each other. Everyone's more or less conflicting with what it is they believe and don't believe, right? And that's what's causing everything to halt. That's what I got for your shadow this week, Gemini. So, like, I don't know. Just, I, and like, my advice to you for this week is just, you know, chill. You know, I forgot to pull a, a weekly card for you guys. Let me do that really quick. Because I should have done that to begin with, but I didn't think about it. But, yeah, my advice to you, Gem, is, um, oh, well, Okay. Cloudy sunshine. Your sun is a little bit clouded. Your happiness is a little bit clouded, guys. Sorry about that. I should have done that from the beginning, but I didn't think of it. Um, but it, it does seem like, you know, patience is def might definitely be needed, and I don't think anybody has it. So you might have to ignore someone's passion and look at their motives for why they are behaving the way they are, you know? Libra, it's your turn for your shadow. So let's go ahead and look at yours. Ah. Right, right. So, Libra, what do we got for you for your shadow? You are walking away from shit because you just don't like it anymore. You're going to things that are actually going to make you happy. Good for you, man. You just don't know what to do. That's all. You're, you're just kind of slightly indecisive. As you always are, you know. Um, now, there was some wish that came true, but it was like a wish fulfillment gone wrong. It's like a lot of baggage and shit. Like, you got what you wished for, but all the hubris that came with it is what's fucked you up. Um, no love being offered. You're not sure how it was to go about things because things just aren't ending the way you think that they should or are just not ending. Someone might not be changing their ways. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? Um, Leo's card, Strength. You might be trying to hold back your shadow side or the beast, right? So there might have been a wish fulfillment with a Leo or there was a wish fulfillment somewhere that like came with hubris and now you're trying to have the strength to deal with that hubris right now. Uh, got the Queen of Cups right here. Someone's like looking over their emotions or feelings, kept them in for a while, trying to examine them properly. Um, yeah, the shit's not being resurrected with whoever this is. There might have been a bad idea involved as well. Oh, dear. You guys might be separating from a Leo, actually. It wasn't as fulfilling as you thought it was, and it's taken a toll on you guys. Yes. Well, not yes is a good thing, but yes is, you know, I don't know. I'll shut up now. Anyway, Libra. You're walking away for something better because you don't want to offer your cup any more to this shit. You're actually your cup covered. And it's just like, I'm keeping this cup covered until I get to where I need to go. Because right now you have a lot of mental things going on inside of you right now. A lot of mental issues. Um, things that might be keeping you up at night. Things that might make you second guess um, dealing with somebody. Right, because it's become a really, really um, heavy burden right here. Um, this wish fulfillment. I think that like you had somebody. Doesn't have to be like a Leo, but I feel like it was somebody with like either Leo in them or they demonstrated they had a lot of strength. But that's because they were holding back their um, shadow side. Because that's what I think the lion is sometimes, like the shadow self, and the maiden's just keeping that in check with her kindness and her timidity. 
But it's like this wish fulfillment caused you to really fucking um have strength in yourself, especially when it came to a separation. Might be going through a divorce, but or something, but it's like whatever it is with these two of cups reversed right here, it was like surface level. That caused a whole bunch of problems. It was like it was like dealing with somebody you didn't know, I guess. Especially with strength right here. Now, you're very indecisive about what to do with this person who won't change their ways because it's like, do I really want to start some shit up with them again? Because I feel like this is the wrong idea. This could also be vice versa, cross watchers, you know, keep that in mind. But it feels like, you know, either you had the wrong idea about somebody or you had the wrong idea about a series of events that you thought should have gone down the way they did. And they did not. Hmm. What is it about this Judgment card and the Death card? I just want to ask about both. Let's see. Is someone running into argue or fight or battle about a door that's been closed? Excuse me, kitten. Yes, thank you. You're, you're assisting me so well. She is, man. Look at her go. Yes, she's a good girl. Yes, you rub that door. Get that door closed with your booty. <laughs> she literally closed the door. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's love, isn't it? Yes. Um, some indecisions come about. Separation. Ooh. Here we got the lovers, but we had the two cups. Like, the two of cups and the lovers are different, right? Like, two of cups is a necessarily mean relationship. What? But it's like, it's a lot, the lovers is way deeper than the two of cups. So like I was saying, surface level, but this is like, I know who you are naked kind of level, right? And it's like, whoever knew who nakedly was just, mm. Okay, go on. I gotta do my cards, dude. Like, you're totally being distracting. You got hair all over my cards, kids. Really? She's just into attention today. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, I'm starting to think she's an Aquarius. But yeah, it's like, um, someone was expecting somebody to fight over a closed door, but now they just don't know because this relationship's over. Almost like out of sight, out of mind, or someone was released from this, uh, connection right here. Or they're trying to release themselves from a connection that's no longer there. They're just, once again, you're not sure about how to go about that. Because you did have someone you know on a surface level. But then there's someone you definitely know. For real, Kit? You have to be an air sign, dude. I swear. That's yours, Libra, though. So be very cautious. Because I think you're going to be going through a lot of emotional stuff right now. Long like Gemini. Like, you might be taking things... To more of an extreme, though, than what you need to be. I don't know. I almost feel like blaming the other person for some bullshit that might have gone down, but I don't know. Don't. Hey, 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 little miss. What are you doing? Why, why are you rubbing against the wire? All right, Aquarius, you are up next. Let's see what's going on with your shadow. Yes, that's fine. You can sit right there as long as you're good. Okay. okay. That's a good girl. Just put your ass right on the table. Okay. You got some indecisiveness you're dealing with. You don't know which world to choose right now. And might be a bit of a bad judgment call involved that you want to take a leap of faith away from. You just don't know how to take that leap of faith. Yeah. You're feeling a bit left out in the cold and you're dragging a liability, either a person or a series of events or just even yourself, how you're feeling about yourself. I feel like you might feel a little down on yourself, like you're burdened by other people who are not as capable as you are. And they keep a bell around their neck because, you know, you don't know where they go to. Like, if you don't pay attention to them, they'll probably run in a fucking ditch and just lay there because they're not smart enough to get out on their own. You might be the person trying to take care of that. 
We got the Queen of Cups over here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, you're not trying to offer your love over to this person. This person just either they got the wrong idea or they're like rejecting the idea of rejection or rejection. Resurrection? I don't know where. Uh, I can't talk today. I need a nap. Um, they are just. You're not offering your cup to this water sign for some reason. It's like they're keeping their emotions to themselves. So you're just kind of like, you know, well, since you aren't saying anything to me, I guess I'm just done. Yeah, you're done playing games. <laughs> like, whoever it was you were dealing with, it was just like, mm. either you're trying to drive them away so they stop bugging you for shit, or they're driving you away with their fucking games. One of the two right and this person over here is just completely just lost in the sauce like has no idea what they're doing he keeps going back and forth uh you feel like this is done like i said like the cups are surface level and i feel like if you were really close to this person it's just done and you're tired of feeling like there's an enemy in your house. You are ready to go. There is humorous in this, though, when it comes to leaving for a great joy. You, you get your wish, but there's something that possibly will come out of it that I don't think you guys like. First and foremost, right? Now, for your Shadow of Judgment Aquarius, it's like... Hmm... It's kind of like, you know, you're trying to cast someone out of your life, basically. Like, I don't know, you guys, like, you guys, like, the next reading, if it's the same as the last two, I'm just assuming you guys are going to just jump off the roof or get in a cannonball in space because there's somebody you have been trying to just send a message home. Hey, are you stupid or you just don't realize that I don't like you? Because I can see you say... <laughs> Some shit like that. Uh, I knew an Aquarius chick like that. She would tell you immediately that she don't like you. She did not like anybody. Well, she liked me sometimes, but that was like on occasion. But it was like, you know, you are terribly trying to just get rid of those who you consider baggage. You know, the five of pentacles right here. This is the able body person. It's like they're destitute because they're carrying this person around as well and they can't go back in the church or wherever this is because it's like they don't like him so they don't like her either or you're just feeling like you have to stay out there with this person because you don't feel like leaving somebody alone but at the same time it's kind of like you're stuck between wanting to take care of this person and putting them in the ditch yourself and just taking off the bell. Just being like, you know, no one's going to find you if I take the bell off, right? And it's almost like you're very much into the idea of just driving them away somehow because they take up more of your time as like a failure than anything. They can also make you feel like they're coming against you a lot of the times too. And it's just like, you need to go away. Like, I, like you were just irritating me and I don't like it. I got a cuticle I got to cut. You know. Um, you are ready to take a leap of faith. You don't want to offer this cup because it's just like, even if you did, it really wouldn't make a difference. Um, you're not connected to this person as you once were. Now, either they decided not to resurrect something or they're just running with the wrong idea, but it's like they're just sitting there with their cup covered, but looking at it, but also looking through it to look at you because they don't know what to do with themselves i think they're expecting you to travel to them and once again that's a hubris wish it's like yeah i want to i want to be there for you but i don't want to be around you you know one of those things right what can we pull up with you aquarius i don't know which one to choose so i'll just lay some out right right you want to recover from heartbreak look at the introspection totally get in your king of swords energy just be like you know what i will hawak you with the sword and then it'll be hawakied all over with the blood of my enemies and you will be my enemy because that's who i'm launching for right 
Like you're not trying to be cruel, but you are trying to get down to business and let people know that like you will be cut through it if you have to be. With a quickness. Like you will be quick with it too. Um, mainly because you know this shit is not going to work out. For the most part. Oh, Aquarius. Yeah, I think you guys are going to try to jump off the roof for going to outer space. Just putting that out there. Which is fine, because, like, you guys are aliens to begin with. But, that was Shadow of Judgment for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. It's up to you. If you want a personal reading, my email and information is down in the description box below. First reading is on the house, then after that it's whatever. And tips and donations are always appreciated, of course. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay out of trouble, don't murder anybody, for the love of God. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.